Good evening, everyone. So I'm going to do a re review of a flashlight. Uh, if you guys need a small, compact flashlight, one that fits in your pocket, uh, one that only kicks out a little bit of light that you might need to maybe find your car keys or something like that in your car or your wallet if you dropped it in the vehicle, um, something that you know you wouldn't mind carrying around in your pocket or uh, maybe a, a backpack. This isn't the light that you need. This is the Kodiak Colossus. This thing is a beast of a light. It weighs, uh, I think, over two pounds, but it is heck of bright. It has a giant LED right there. Big, giant, thick, um, rounded lens to throw that beam out there. It, it's a pretty wide beam. It's not a very focused, like a, uh, like a spotlight. This is more of a floodlight. So down there at the end of this drive, it's 87 yards, and there's some trees and some apartments on the other side. Right now I'm using just a very small light to uh, cast some, some light out here, just so you can see this beautiful flashlight. Um, I don't have all the specs with me as far as the length of it and everything else, but I do know that you can charge it up and then use it to power or charge your phone by just plugging it in right there with a the USB. It has some warnings on up here on the bezel that it gets hot. So if it's on the brightest setting, you definitely don't want to be touching this end of the light. Uh, it has some cooling fins here and here. Nice neural grip for uh, so you don't, uh, it doesn't get slippery or anything. But let's just power it on and let me turn this light off. And get where I can see. So it does have a safety feature where you have to tap it twice to uh, get it to turn on. So that's not even the highest setting. Um, once you're there, you push and hold it down, and that is the highest setting right there. So it is amazingly bright. There's a side of a hardware store like I said that's 87 yards down there and it is lighting up from I mean both sides completely it's just amazingly bright big wide huge beam of light I mean it's I don't I can't even say how many degrees but it's a lot it's not a it's not a focused narrow beam it is a huge huge wide beam of light that just lights up so um, in addition to there it kicks in the highest I just held it down for the highest setting uh, it does have lower settings as well still even the lower settings are much brighter than a lot of other flashlights but you know definitely not as blinding as that right there yeah that is just amazing so yeah i would not want to carry this around in my pocket i would not want to carry it around even in a backpack unless i was actually out searching for, you know a big huge area for something or somebody um it's just a big huge light that uh extremely bright very durable, very robust. I mean, you could actually probably smash watermelons with this thing. It is just a beast. I've heard other people refer to it as a beast, and it actually is. This thing is just solid, built like a tank. It's the Kodiak Colossus. It has a very fitting name for it. Kind of the, uh, I think I would just ruin my phone if I turned the light on as bright as it could get right now. It'd just fry the inside of my phone and I'm not gonna do that. But um, yeah, I definitely like it. It has its uses, um, but it's not being in my back pocket being carried around for an EDC light. But uh, yeah, search and rescue type of thing. A lot of other different uses for this light. I mean, even charge your phone with it, I guess. So again, I'll uh,
you go. So once it's on high, you just push and hold again, and it kicks up to the turbo mode, which is, uh, I forgot how many lumens or candle power. It's a lot. It is definitely a lot. You can see that in the description. And then it has a couple lower modes for more, more subtle illumination purposes. Still very bright though. Alrighty folks, you guys thank you for watching. Have a great night and goodbye.